Hello everyone. So today I am redoing the penthouse or one of the penthouses in the city living pack. Um, I can't remember which one this is. Uh, it's, you know, 5 a.m. right now. Um, and I forgot to look it up before I started recording, but it's, I believe it's one of the ones in the art district. Um, I hate this, this build and uh, this is the before and, uh, yeah, this thing was just so weird. So I decided to bulldoze it and create a fun, um, what I want to call garden, uh, rooftop garden penthouse. Um, this is up on the gallery. I double checked to make sure. I know the last couple I've uh, had some issues with, um, but as of recording, this is up on the gallery. Um, yeah, I, I still don't know what's going on. I know one of the times my build didn't go up was me. I forgot to do it. Um, but there's been a couple that have just like disappeared. So if you go to look for the this or any of my other builds and they're not on the gallery, please leave a comment on one of the videos um, and let me know or even on one of my other builds on the gallery um, and I'll get them uploaded again for you. Uh, the other thing I'm noticing, I am having a glitch with my builds where some of the items get removed when it gets uploaded. Um, if I catch it, I try to upload it again to see if it'll fix, but um, I don't always catch it. So again, let me know if you come into that too. And you know, something that's really obvious. Uh, it, I'm not expecting you to know my builds in and out. So anyway, um, with this build, I did, as I said, wanted to create a fun, um, modern uh, garden apartment. And my approach to this was definitely more of a maybe more mid-century modern vibe. Um, lots of wood, uh, more natural type modern look. Um, and I really like this. In fact, I'm playing a game right now, and after building this, I'm like, I want to move my sim into this. This is like, you know, the I've made it house, uh, at least until I have her retire to, you know, a tropical island. Granted, right now she lives in uh, Tamarang, so I don't know how great that would be, but whatever. <laughs> But anyway, um, so the other thing with this build, it does use multiple packs, uh, not apologizing. It, it is what it is. Uh, the game should replace anything you don't own if you're not crazy like me and own almost all the packs. So as of when this actually goes live, we are going to have the new, uh, castle kit um out i am planning a very small build for that for tuesday so i'm probably if i get my trailer park done i'm working on in time for friday um i'm probably gonna skip one of my throwback weeks and just uh, start that back up the next week um i hope you guys enjoyed that uh desert Lux throwback video um, there's a link to it here in the video. Um, check that out if you haven't yet. I had a lot of fun building that, and it's still one of my most favorite builds. And, um, yeah, it was it, it's just fun to play in, too. So, yeah, check that out. Uh, also, with this, I do want to warn you, I changed things around quite a bit. But I'm pretty happy with... Uh, with how this all turned out. So, 
as I said, I kind of went for a mid-century modern, like, very woodsy vibe. Um, this definitely screams kind of people who have, you know, modern taste, but it's not that stark, you know, modern look. It's it's more of, they like the wood tones, they like nature, um, and that's, that's the vibe I went with this, and I think I pulled it off pretty well. This build does use quite a bit from the uh, Dream Home Decorator pack. Wow. So if you don't have that, I will apologize for that. <laughs> Go get it. It's actually a fun pack. Okay. I'm saying this from me, you know, having been an interior designer. Um, yeah. It, it's fun to play with. If you like building but don't want to, like, build it's a fun pack to play with all right so the other thing with this build that i really wanted to concentrate on was adding a lot of like plants these are people who love plants um, and you know, they have a greenhouse, they have a, a outdoor garden space. It's, uh, you know, they love nature and are stuck in the city for some reason. Okay. Uh, we're, we're going to go with that. Now, when I did this build, of course, I didn't, you know, plan on my Sim living here, um, until the end, <laughs> but, um, uh, what um, I was picturing was maybe like a couple um, that lived here. You know, they've, they've made it. And, you know, this is their, their dream apartment in the city. Uh, as I go on in the build, you're going to see I do add like a teen bedroom. Um, so it kind of changed to, you know, they have a teenager. Yeah, and really it's just because I attempted to do a guest room and it just wasn't working. Um, I had put in like closets and yeah, you'll see later on. So with this kitchen, I wanted to really create an open concept and uh, not have everything right up against the wall you i wanted you to be able to see the view as you're eating as you're cooking doing dishes whatever um and yes i know it's the sims they don't they don't look at the view but you know i don't necessarily just create these for you know the sims it's you know what would we do in real life so that's kind of what I was going with here. And I absolutely love this. Um, I did look online at some inspirational pictures. So that is definitely needed for this type of build. Because I, you know, had no clue how to do this, really. Um, and it's more of just finding cool ways we can use these cabinets and all that and you can see I'm playing quite a bit with the cabinetry I really wanted double ovens over here and eventually it, I just decided it's not gonna work so you'll see that change um, but I tried quite a bit to get this put in and work for me and I really wish that we could uh, do a little more, like raise the ovens up, because that's what I really wanted. I wanted them to be raised up um, so that they're, you know, a little bit higher and not down on the floor. So Sims team, not that you're listening, but uh, do that. Give me ovens that are up a level that I can put into those fun cabinets. All right, so kind of just adding in a little more over here. I. Originally, I wasn't going to put anything on the wall, and then I thought about it and went, well, the fridge has to be on a wall. Um, and that's because 
I didn't want to put in um, like a mini fridge or anything like that. So yeah, I'm like, okay, we'll put a little bit on the wall. And really after, you know, I play with it a little bit more, I really ended up liking what I did because that corner with those two tall cabinets does change again. <laughs> so, yeah. I... I do think that we need more, like, more options. And yes, I play on PC. I know I, I use mods in my own gameplay. I don't use them in my builds for the YouTube videos because most people that I've come across don't either don't use them or they don't play on PC. So I try not to use them, but I'll bet you I could probably find you know, a mod of some sort that will allow me to put uh, those ovens up and, you know, do some other things that I want to do. So I guess I should have also warned you guys at the beginning of this video that this is a, I don't know, 35 minute video, roughly. Um, it ended up being a lot bigger build than I originally planned on. But it was worth it. So, you know, it's fine. Um, also, with these bigger builds, I did put a poll up on the community tab if you guys want to check that out. Um, let me know if you like these kind of maybe 30 to 40 minute build videos because I have quite a few um, in the pipeline that are going to be bigger builds, especially with this castle pack. I've got the trailer park that'll be bigger, this one that's bigger. Um, let me know if you want these in, you know, one big video or if uh, a series is better. Um, I've done the series thing before and I've thought about going back and uploading those um, as one video, it just be a speed build. I wouldn't be talking through it. Um, but if you guys want the longer content, let me know. If you don't, choose that option in the poll. I really want to cater this channel as much as possible to what you guys like, what, um, what you're looking for. And it's because I, I just enjoy building. Um, and I like seeing people use my builds because I mean I play in a lot of my builds but I don't play in all of them so you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna build that that's where I'm going with this I just want to build in the sims and live my life okay now um oh I should say my my throat is doing a little bit better. I still do have some coffee this morning. Um, one, because this is such a long video. Uh, and two, because I still have, you know, a little bit of an issue. But my voice is getting much, much better. Um, and I apologize if I've mumbled for some of this video. I'm hoping not, because this is a long one to go back and record. <laughs> But if I am, sorry, uh, it's just, you know, it's early and it's hard to talk in the morning, especially when I've only had a few sips of coffee, okay? Um, so yeah, so anyway, back to the build a little bit. Um, I decided to put a desk in this area just because it fit. Um, I thought about putting like a little like loathing closet rack thing or something there but um, no I decided a little desk there just something they can use real quick because technically this is the entry um so this is where you know you're gonna have you know people gathering at the door but it's okay so yeah I didn't have the elevator just empty right into uh, 
your Sims apartment because, you know, you do have people that just show up and knock on the door. <laughs> so I didn't want it to just open and here, you're, you're in my house. So, you know, real life, you can have the elevator open right into the penthouse and all that because people would have to have uh, access to it. At least that's how a lot of them are designed where you can't, you know, go up without somebody knowing you're 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 coming up so that uh is kind of my thought process with that you know then there's this door that blocks the the way in um it's also handy to just put your mail there put you know uh the trash chutes there i did get that in it's not missing um yeah so that was kind of that little entry area uh this year is an outdoor like kitchen grilling area I thought I had put a sink in but now that I'm looking at it I don't think I did uh, so add a sink if you want it it's just you know some cute little outdoor space I didn't put a fridge or anything out here either just because you know it's right there through the doors so you know the Sims. They're they're not going to use it anyway. I've been uh, playing in my townhouse with the uh, Home Chef Hustle Pack, and I don't know how many times they go up to the second floor fridge and oven to do things. When I had them down in the kitchen area, I created for the restaurant at the bottom. Well, um, that's another one. If you haven't checked out that build, I'll link to that above too. And you can check that one out. That's another one I'm really proud of. I love that build. Um, and that one ended up being, oh geez, like three builds. I think I did like three different builds. So I have a double townhouse with the Home Chef Hustle pack underneath like a restaurant area. Um, and then I think I made it into another double townhouse with like a pool so that you could rent it out. And, uh, I think there's a gym under there instead of the restaurant. And then I made one that's just the restaurant and one townhouse. That's the one I'm playing in right now. Um, I do have my sim being a landlord, so I'm playing a little bit with the four rent pack. Uh, however, um... I didn't want her to live in a rental anymore. She started in rentals, but yeah. And she bought her first two properties while she was still renting. I wish I could do that in real life. That would be great. Unfortunately, you know, rent is extremely high in Nashville and, um, yeah. I need food. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I have food. I have food. I'm good. Um, but, yeah. So, unfortunately, that that's a dream that isn't going to happen. But, uh, not that I'm, like, you know, striving to be a landlord either. But, I, I, I wouldn't mind a, a nice townhouse or, you know, condo or something. So, anyway, just kind of uh, going through now the upstairs figuring out window placement etc uh, and then I think I was like okay I got windows done want to play with the fencing this fence changes multiple times I'm just warning you now multiple okay it keeps going so the other thing I wanted to create a fountain area and unfortunately with this lot you can't put a fountain on this level so uh what i ended up doing was i put a pool in and then created a fountain with that and i think it's blocked off i forgot when i play tested to come over and see if they jump into the fountain or not um but i think i've got it blocked off let me know in the comments if you download this if your sim takes a swim in here because i mean it's really not that big of a deal but um that that's not what the look i wanted to go for and 
yeah, I thought about putting another type of fountain, but really nothing fit well. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing with this is I wanted this to be mostly like outdoor um, garden. So it's this is not where you're growing plants. Um, you know, the the greenhouse is where the, the you know, food and flowers grow. Uh, this is just kind of a nice little area for looks. Um, I didn't put a whole lot out here. I think I put like a bench. Um, there's an easel. And I think that's about it. Oh, I did put a couple of fruit trees. So there are some fruit trees out here. Um, but other than that, uh, there's not a lot. I kind of left it open for you guys to put in maybe a table or whatever you might want out there. Um, however you want to use the space. But I just thought this was would be a cute little spot to put, um, you know, just flower garden. And... Mostly that's because, you know, we already have the greenhouse to build, you know, not to build, sorry, to uh, to put plants in. I can talk this morning. I can. Um, so I wanted this to be more of a, a pretty looking garden space. And, you know, do with it what you would like. If you hate it, delete it. Put some belts here. I'm fine with that. Um, the other thing is I start playing with this and you'll see I kind of move some flowers around weirdly. Um, at some point I couldn't raise or lower anything. I'm not sure what happened. I had a cat jump on the keyboard and I don't know what they hit, but so I took a break from that and went ahead and started doing the upstairs. So later on I think I come back in the video to it I'm not sure I may have finished that off camera um because there really wasn't much left over there but yeah so there's still a little bit more that goes into that garden space so the gym area I just wanted to create kind of a home gym uh, you know a few things up there they're you know a small family so it's not like they need you know two of all the equipment or anything so just put kind of one of each in, have the sauna area, and just create a nice, you know, nice gym space. Uh, the other thing is just, you know, door outside, and then this is probably uh, getting to be one of my favorite areas is this landing. And I played with this quite a bit. I cut out a lot of my my playing around with this section. Uh, but once I figured out what I wanted to do with it, it came together so fast. And I love how it turned out. Um, but you can see I play with this easel. This easel does end up in the garden area by the end of things. Just saying. It moves around quite a bit. But it does not stay where it's at currently. So here I use the book nook kit and just kind of created a nice cozy spot that you could sit and read or gather um, and just kind of do whatever and it was mostly me just trying to use the space without blocking access to that you know bedroom oh. and as I said it's one of my favorite areas of the house it turned out so cute and I really wanted to use this planter, which is why eventually, yep, the uh, the easel moves. And I think originally my plan was to put one of the uh, the, the one dying out uh, heater down there or fire pit, and I never did. So if you want to do that so your sims don't freeze in the winter, uh, that might be an option for that garden area. Is put a little like fireplace or something out there. Um, or bring the easel back in. I mean, there's room for it. I just didn't like how it looked. So, uh, the other thing is playing with some artwork here. I probably took over a half an hour just to figure out the artwork for, um, 
this area. I just, I could not. I could not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know why it took me so long. But as you can see, it, it doesn't seem like it did because I edited everything. <laughs> but I do love, uh, love how all that turned out. And here I'm just kind of playing with things and figuring out, you know, what didn't work, as you can see. So moving on to the teen room, I did play with this a little bit as a guest room um, because originally I wasn't going to have them have kids, but um, figured out pretty quickly that just it did. I didn't feel the guest room vibes in here. So stuck in a teenager and just kind of flew from there. And this one's another cute room. I absolutely love the high school years pack for uh, decor. They have some really fun and funky things and it makes me happy. All right, so here, just like I said, kind of putting in clutter, making it feel like a teen bedroom. Um, and lived in you know a little cluttery uh oh the other thing that i forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is part of the reason this is so long is because i have slowed down my speed i had a comment saying you know they you guys would like to see a little more detail so that's something else i'm trying to if you'd like a little slower speed let me know in the comments below um so that you know i do this a little slower again next time um as I said, that is also the reason for possible longer videos, but that's okay. If you guys will watch them and enjoy them, I will do them. Uh, the other thing with uh, this room is I'm not the biggest fan of these curtains, but it's it worked. It worked. Um... I also do put in, you can see me kind of playing with things. I, you know, was thinking this is a teenager's room. They're going to want privacy. So I wanted to make it look like they could pull down, you know, blinds as well as the curtains. So that was kind of that. And here I'm just playing with things. Um, I think, again, this took me a little while because I kept finding like random items that I'm like, where'd this come from? I do that a lot so sometimes if you see me like pull things out and there's this huge rock all of a sudden in the middle of my build it's because i'm like wait a minute what is this you know uh because even though you know i build a lot in the sims there's things that i either forget about or never knew about or you know knew about but didn't realize that's what it was you know all that fun stuff so here I decided to add in some skylights, uh, mostly because originally I wasn't going to put in a window in this bathroom, and then I just thought the skylights would be fun. Um, I believe I end up putting a window in this bathroom in the end, but I could be wrong. I don't know, because um, I can't remember, because it's early, and I still need at least three more cups of coffee in me. Okay. I'm not that bad with coffee, but coffee is life, okay? At least for me. So this bathroom, I wanted definitely to be catered toward the teenager living here. So I wanted, you know, pink colors. You know, they, they like their pinks, their purples. I mean, this would even work as maybe like a preteenish room, um, if you want to play that way, and then update it a little more into you know different things. Uh, but I decided to use these rugs, which I normally don't put rugs in my bathrooms in my builds because we just don't have a great selection of them. But this build, it it worked like. It fit the vibe of the build to have rugs. So both the uh, bathroom here and the teen room 
and the uh, master bathroom have rugs in them. So that's something that was different and and I like it. Uh, I just wish we had more options for like bath mats. Um, I really wish they had put more options in the bathroom clutter kit. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully it'll be something we get soon. Um, again, I bet you there's probably mods out there that have some if you're a PC player and you don't like those in there. Or you can remove them. So now I'm just kind of cluttering up the closet and getting it, you know, to look the way I want. So again, these people have some money. So this stuff has all been customized to their teenager. So yeah, the closet's pink, okay? And I'm going to say this was, you know, th these pink builds are hard for me. I'm not a huge fan of pink. Um, a dusty rose, maybe. I could maybe do that. But not a huge fan of pink. All right. And so, moving on from the pink crazy and into the master bedroom. And this, again, was a labor of love. It, it really was just, yeah, a labor of love. <laughs> Uh, the bedroom itself was, wasn't too bad. Uh, I had uh, a couple things in mind, and uh, it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, but in the end, it turned out pretty cool, and I love the bedroom. Now, that being said, the bedroom changes a tiny little bit after I move on to the bathroom area because I changed the bathroom area. Um, just didn't, didn't like the setup. I'm, I'm not sure what exactly I was thinking when I originally built it, uh, but ended up not liking the setup at all. And what I do like with this bedroom is that it's not really cluttery. Um, I kept it pretty open. It is a bigger room, so it was easier to do. But I did keep it pretty open. But it doesn't, like, it still feels cozy. So it's not like the base game, you know, EA builds where there's, like, nothing there. You know, kind of what was here originally. <laughs> uh... Yeah, this this build, the original build that was here, just... I, I think I looked at that the first time and just kind of went, what is this? Um, but, yeah, we fixed it, okay? So this is me right now playing with this bathroom, trying to put a little shower area in here. Um, yeah. This is about the time that I decide... That's not going to work. We're going to change this up. And really what I had originally wanted to do was keep the closet so you'd access it through the bathroom. Um, unfortunately, that changed. But, 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 the bathroom turns out pretty cute. So, I'm okay with it. And one thing that I need to do more of is actually create my own shower spaces because they end up so freaking cute. Um, I mean, not that the showers in the game are that bad, but when you're doing a penthouse, you know, they've got to have an extra luxurious shower experience, right? That That's my thought anyway. So, so I created this little shower space. It does work. You can have, you know, both sim shower at the same time. Uh, play tested that. And um, the other thing with this bathroom is, again, plant lovers. So lots of plants in here. And I mean, I don't know, maybe you know, one of them is a gardener or they own like a chain of plant stores or something. Okay. Uh, 
but that's kind of the vibe I was going for in here is, you know, lots of plants. So as you can see, me playing with the rugs and I really wanted the rounded, you know, the half, half circle rugs in there. Um, I tried rectangular ones and it just didn't, it didn't look right. So anyway, moving on to the closet, as you can see, I just copied and pasted the teen closet over um, and then just kind of updated the coloring and some of the, uh, the items. Now, in this speed build, the closet is pink. The closet stays pink because I didn't realize that I didn't change the, uh, the wallpaper. However, I did go through and change it before I uploaded it, I believe. Um, if not, it's still pink. I know I changed it in my game eventually, but I can't remember if I figured it out after or before I uploaded it. Yeah, it is what it is. I've, I've got a lot going on right now. I'm building, you know, this, a castle. Okay, starting a castle. A trailer park that just doesn't want to work with me. Um, yeah. So the other thing with that trailer park is uh, I'll, I'll send you guys out a sneak peek in the community tab. Um, well, maybe I've already done it when this goes up. Uh, not sure when I want to do that. I might do it. If it's not up already, I might do it tomorrow. Uh, and give you guys kind of a sneak peek of what I'm working on with that. Because um, there is a chance it may not be done for next Friday. Uh, I'm not doing all the trailers as usual just because. All right, so we're at the end of the build. You can see the before here. All right, so here's our new build. I do hope you guys enjoyed watching this build. I had so much fun building this. Um, I probably will do something similar again. Not sure about the garden theme, but it was fun. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video and are still watching, please make sure to uh, like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys for the next build. Bye now.